Hi Leo, welcome to your June 2021 Tarot Weekly Reading. For those of you who are new here, hi, I'm Badison Intuitive Tarot. I am a fellow Leo. And with that being said, if you're watching this video hoping to be relaxed and fall asleep, eh, I'm not that reader for you, hit the watch later tab because I am a cup of coffee, I have been told. <laughs> All right. Also, the first two weeks of July, I'm putting private readings on time out as I'm taking my kids camping and I want to be present with them. So I'm not going to be available from July 1st to the 17th of July. Okay. I think I said July too many times. Anyway, now this is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with all you Leos out there. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And if it does resonate, there's an option for the extended linked at the top of the comments below. Ooh, damn, the star card came out, Aquarius energy, some sort of unexpected wish being granted. Let's see if it comes back out, okay? And last but not least, every Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I go live and I do an all signs reading and we have such a great time. I have the best mod squad in town and I've got a lot of giveaways and goodies planned for the summer. So do set your notification bell, select all notifications and I'll see you Thursday night. What do we have for my Leos for this week of June 2021? Whoa, dang, <laughs> that queen of wands wanted to force its way out, okay? Some of you guys are really gonna be embodying your uh, fire-like energy this week and show who you are, okay? I absolutely love the way that that card tried to force its way out. One more shuffle. Let's rock this deck for the lovely Leos. Your challenge this week, what is it? The magician. Okay, you could be dealing with an Aries energy, but with a magician being in your challenge, you may be lacking confidence to manifest what you want for yourself, Leo. Now remember, the, four, the magician includes four aces. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Wands. This is telling me that you're needing to embody all elements this week if you really want something to work out in your favor. Okay, whether you're focusing on a new job, um, gaining a promotion, a love interest, or something else working in your favor, you need to be confident and realize you've got all the tools you need in your arsenal. Just don't let anyone get their fingers into your toolbox, okay? Because sometimes Leos let people get too close because we're loyal people, and then that opens up the door for someone to take a, a wrench or a nail here and there and screw up your manifestation, okay? So be mindful, you are in manifestation mode this week. Now, what's in your recent past, Leo? The Ace of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, could have been dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Tower, Major Arcana for Scorpio. What's in your current energy? The Devil, major for Capricorn. The Page of Wands, fire energy. The Seven of Cups. And what's in your near future, Leo? And don't worry, I will show you close-ups of the cards in a moment. Your near future, we have the Nine of Wands. That's you protecting yourself. And I have the Devil right above that. So I feel like you might have an energy around you that's not really wanting you to, you know, shine or whatnot. Let's keep going. The Three of Wands and the Hierophant, Taurus energy. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Leo? The Eight of Swords, air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, the Eight of Swords is pretty much what I was picking up on when I saw the Magician in the challenge position because the Eight of Swords is that energy of allowing one negative thought to be planted in your head and to ruminate over and over again until that one little negative thought turns into a bigger negative thought thing or being and you're feeding like a bottomless pit of a hungry source of anger energy or negative energy. Don't let anyone get you in your head to where you feel like you don't have what it takes for something, you're not confident enough or you're not good enough. Don't let anyone get in your head and start making you second guess your strength or your abilities. Okay, because once that seed is planted and you start second guessing yourself and you start talking negatively about yourself, it gets bigger and the, the energy vampire gets hungrier, hungrier. Okay, look at that. The Eight of Swords is all about self-sabotage. You are good enough, Leo. Don't get yourself in that mental prison because once you get locked up, it's hard coming out. And look, look what's right here. Look what the devil. And what is it inside of? A prison. That mermaid is you. You're an innocent party here. And I feel like 
something, a situation, a person, or people are trying to get you trapped or stuck um, in an energy that doesn't allow you to be your best. Okay? Don't let anybody tear you down. Because people are jealous of the sun. People are jealous of Leos. Because Leos were born to lead. Leos were born to shine. It's innate in us to attract, you know, people around us. Everyone wants to take the energy off of the sun. We give source. Okay, so I feel like you're going to have to protect yourself with that nine of wands. The nine of wands is putting up a protective shield. Not being too guarded where you don't trust anybody, but be having enough having enough um, wherewithal to be very discerning about who you let over your wall. Okay, I feel like someone may have confused you and hurt you in the past because I have the tower. In your recent past, we had the tower. This is an unexpected, shocking shakeup. This could have been a breakup with someone. This could have been a reveal of someone's deceit. This could have been a reveal of someone cheating on you. This could have been someone's true colors coming out and them removing, removing that mask and you really seeing the situation for what it was. Okay, look at you in the recent past. You were looking very stable with the Queen of Pentacles. You had your money in order. You had your business in order. You had your children taken good care of. Your house and money were looking really good. But something was trying to knock you off of your power. Okay, this tower. To shake up your, your foundation that you made so stable. Okay? Someone or somebody or people didn't like how stable you looked. And you gained clarity on that situation with the Ace of Swords. Whoa, I'm having like deja vu here. Didn't on the monthly reading we have the Death card and the Ace of Swords in the recent past? Where Leos were gaining clarity to a situation and made sure to end it and nip it in the butt? Now I'm getting the Ace of Swords in the Tower. That's creepy deaky, okay? If you haven't seen that June monthly, do check it out so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about here. Okay, and you were looking stable and something was happening around you that you couldn't really avoid or predict, okay? And that's that tower. You weren't expecting that tower to come in. And now that we're, we're in the current energy, you're kind of confused about what's going on right now with the Seven of Cups, but you've got new opportunities around you with the Page of Wands that's keeping you excited. You may have gotten a, a recent job promotion. Your business may be picking up. Friends are being around you, making you feel really supported. You're feeling really good, but you're still confused about that tower moment and why it even had to happen in the first place. What that tower moment really meant for you. Okay, you're still trying to process your emotions, Leo. And I feel like you, you're, you're still feeling trapped in that situation. Even though you moved on from that tower, the ramifications, the aftermath, the, the residue, or the, the leftover effects are still weigh, weighing on top of you, suffocating you. So some of you guys could be asking yourself, why did that person have to hurt me? Or why did that situation have to turn into what it was? Why? I was doing fine and all of a sudden my world came crashing down for that split moment. Why? And with all that negative thinking, all that, you know, energy of you being in your head is keeping you stuck in that low vibrational energy. Don't allow whatever happened to you with that tower affect your present and moving forward energy. Let that be a situation that you learned from with that higher fit. Take notes, jot it down, retain it, and apply it for your future events. Don't let whatever happened in your past affect you and get you stuck in your head because you guys are going to be outperforming a lot of people in your life. The Six of Wands is here. The Six of Wands is the victory after the battle. It's rising from the ashes and telling people, people, places, and things that you are stronger than they thought you were. This is you standing in your power and showing off your skills, letting people know, hey, you didn't knock me down. In fact, you made me stronger. Look at that. And we have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups to me is self-love, but for a lot of you, this could be you attracting someone who's going to see your worth and love you to pieces. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
but if it's not a love interest it's just you feeling like you're finally living again and feeling good and feeling at your best because I feel like you were living pretty good with the Queen of Pentacles but something happened with that tower trying to get you off of your throne off of your game and look what's underneath this the wheel of fortune the wheel of karma what goes around comes around this is you feeling lucky this is you feeling like everything worked out for your for you in your favor in the long run so if you felt like that tower left you uncomfortable for a moment it's okay we all grow the most when we're uncomfortable this tower had to happen so that you could see clearly what you weren't seeing clearly in the first place okay i feel like leo with you being um such a loyal person since leo's rule the heart leos automatically see the good in everybody we automatically see everybody as the ball of sun that we are but have you ever stared up at the sun so long that your eyes get blurry to where you really can't see what's around you anymore I feel like you were looking at a situation with that type of energy where you see everyone as good as you and someone pulled the wool over your eyes and knocked down some sort of tower in front of you and you were not expecting it this could have been a friend you were trusting this could have been a coworker that tried to outnumber you and get the promotion before you this could have been a family member that saw you rising and didn't feel you know good about it this could have been a person who cheated on you after you gave them all of your love and loyalty someone was trying to knock you off of your stability and once you gained clarity you you moved on from it but you're still trapped in the energy of why why did that have to happen why couldn't it have just gone better than that why i was loving to this person i gave to this person why was it so hard for them to reciprocate why but when you're stuck in the why you get stuck in the past okay you get stuck in the the, the 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 part of your life that you don't need to relive the cycle repeating itself because the devil is about repetitive behaviors you know doing things that are not healthy for you okay it's like addictions to alcohol addictions to drugs addictions to a person addictions to negative behaviors or even if they're not negative behaviors if it's something that you keep doing repetitively that blocks your movement you can't stay stuck in it because you can't move forward in a in a cage like this leo you can't how can you be a lion being stuck in a cage lions do not stay in cages lions roam okay lions roam they do not get caged up only lions that trusted the wrong people get caged up but temporarily once we lick our wounds and lick our paws we move forward stronger than ever but i feel like you're still stuck in the why and i feel like you are in strong manifestation mode right now and i don't want you getting focused on what happened with that situation and block what amazing opportunities you've got heading your way because that wheel of fortune with the ace of cups don't come just every single day it's special opportunities okay your life is about to change in a big big way with the wheel of fortune this could be you walking away feeling emotionally fulfilled or emotionally fortunate financially fortunate spiritually fortunate any of that with the wheel of fortune ace of cups and i had this energy in your monthly okay so in your monthly i was getting a similar energy where you had to stand strong and remove yourself from a situation that wasn't good for you and pull out your inner strength show your authentic side and move forward roaring okay i do have the nine of swords and i have the nine uh, and the five of pentacles and the six of cups okay i feel like whatever situation this was you're not the only one that's suffering whoever you were dealing with is someone from your past with the six of cups could be a childhood friend it could be an ex it could be someone that you're just on a break from okay this person is stressed out with the nine of swords because you abandoned them you left them in the dark you you removed that sunlight now they're in this little shadowy place maybe you were their, their only friend maybe you were the only person that was ever there for them and loved them the way that you felt like they deserved to be loved but you didn't get it reciprocated okay you did to them what they were doing to you okay now someone is seeing things clearly seeing how they treated you and realizing that it wasn't 
the best thing to do because now they see what it feels like. Okay? So I feel like you're going to need to protect yourself with that nine of wands, okay? There's something coming in for you, something very special, Leo. Something very special with that three of wands, okay? And it's connecting to this life lesson. You're gaining something very, very good. Your ships are coming in. And you see how this, this woman or this, you know, what is it, you know, mermaid? You see how she's right in front of a magnifying glass? It's almost telling me that I'm picking up on a Leo that has, you know, an inclination of what is heading their way and you are already feeling all of that success, all that happiness on your way. You can almost taste it. You're seeing it up close with that magnifying glass. So you're going to be patient on it. Because the Three of Wands is connected to the Magician. Once you make your decision on what you want to manifest, that's when the manifestation begins. And then once you start planting that seed for whatever you're manifesting, the waiting is all that's left to do. You just have to believe it's heading your way. You need to feel that it's happening. Okay? You've got some positive, positive things heading your way with that Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Cups. Do not blow it because you're still stuck on the why. Why did that have to happen? Why me? Why? I was so good to this person. I was, I was so this. I was so that. And this, that, or the other. Don't get stuck in the why. Okay? So let's clarify. I'm really curious about that tower. Why is that tower... Now I said why. <laughs> well, for shits and giggles, I want to know why that happened in the first place. So for just this moment, I'm going to use the why. Why is the tower in the recent past for Leo? Why is the, oh wait, a card doesn't belong. One second. The Queen of Swords. This does not belong in my cat deck, but this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You had to speak your truth to somebody, and I feel like if this hasn't happened, it's happening, Leo. And you had to make a cut with the Queen of Swords. You had to decide what was best for you and be authentic and make a cut, Queen of Swords. Okay, and I feel like it's, it's connecting to that tower. Okay, so let me get another card on the tower. What is this tower in the recent past for Leo? The world. Something, something had to end for a new one to begin. Oh, my Lanta. Do you know how amazing it is to have the world and the fool card next to each other? It's amazing because the world card is the very last card in the tarot deck, right? And the fool is the very first. This is telling me that what that tower was, which is an ending, a shocking ending, you're leaving that chapter behind, you're closing the door, you're locking the key to that past, and you're embarking on a fresh new start. Or at least that was your intentions until you got stuck in the why with that devil energy. So you know what? I'm just going to uh, skip ahead for a second and see what that devil is all about. And right on the bottom is the four of swords. I feel like you went no contact on something or someone. The Four of Swords is recovering after a heartbreaking situation, right? Because it comes after the Three of Swords. So this could have been you ending an addiction. Maybe you were drinking too much and it was blocking your abundance. Or you ended a codependent, be, uh, a codependent um, relationship. Maybe you guys were making up, breaking up, making up, breaking up. Or this person was treating you badly and you, you were like, enough is enough. Okay, or you just went no contact on a um, person that was treating you badly. Okay, but that devil energy is like still lingering. It's like it's hard to let something go because you're more upset at, at the fact that it even had to happen than you are about anything else. So let me get a card on that devil. Could be a Capricorn that you were dealing with. Whoa, the lovers, Gemini energy. The start and reverse and the king of wands. You had to focus on yourself and regain your confidence back with the king of wands, Leo energy, because you gave up hope on a situation with the star and reverse. Someone was taking away your wishes. Someone was taking away your happiness for yourself. Okay? Maybe this person looked up to you with that Leo the lion being there and they, they felt like you were like, you know, moving forward without them too quickly and they couldn't catch up. But they were taking away your happiness with the, the star in reverse. And you had to do what you had to do and make a cut to stand strong with your King of Wands energy. 
but the love that you have for this person or this situation is what keeps you lingering around trying to figure out how to fix it or why it had to happen, okay? When you give your love to someone so much, Leo, you, you want it in return and when it didn't become reciprocal, you're you're stuck on why what's wrong with me why didn't this person not have to, why didn't this person love me the way that I love them what was so wrong with me why but there's nothing wrong with you Leo sometimes people just do shitty things sometimes people just do shitty things and it's not because we deserve it it's just it's something that happens it's it's a part of some sort of life lesson to make us stronger and sometimes we just meet, we just meet shit, shit cakes, okay? We just meet shit cakes. People that look good on the outside and look sweet on the outside, but inside they're shit, okay? You don't need to figure out why a situation happened. You just need to learn from it and use what you learn from it to master your future, make your future better. I bet you're, you're going to be extra discerning about the next person you get close to, right? So you learn something. I know it still sucks when you gave your heart to someone, but love is the one of the biggest things that teaches us life lessons. I tell you, I've been through my own. I've been through my own, and I'm a lot stronger these days because of it. Okay, Fatty's no longer naive, so you're still feeling confused with that Seven of Cups. The Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. You might have someone flirting with you, Leo, and I absolutely love this for you. The Knight of Cups is someone being flirty, being cutesy, being lovey-dovey. You may not know who this person is just yet, but they're coming, okay? And you might feel a little confused about what to do with this connection because of the tower moment from your past, okay? Even if the tower moment from your past had nothing to do with love, You've got someone coming in being very flirty with you and you're going to be raising your eyebrows at this person going, okay, the last time I trusted someone, I got screwed over. Yeah, are you really that nice? You're going to have a little bit of a wall up, but be careful because not everyone is a shit cake. Okay, I feel like this person coming in is very balanced and genuine and looking for a new opportunity. Okay. Ace of Pentacles. And some of you guys are just getting a new opportunity with work that's going to allow you to be distracted and to focus on your happiness. This is my favorite Ace. And it's connecting to this life lesson that you learned with that Hierophant, Taurus Energy. You're passing some sort of test and you're being rewarded because of you not allowing something to repeat itself. Once you cut that Devil Energy, that repetitive behavior, Spirit rewards you. Spirit rewards you. Okay, I'm strongly getting like a connection to uh, the monthly reading. So why is the Nine of Wands here? I feel like this is you needing to protect yourself. The King of Cups and the Hanged Man, okay? I feel like there's someone coming in who's going to be showing you a lot of love and you're gonna be a little bit in limbo about what to, what to do here, Leo. Could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. But I feel like the Hanged Man is just telling you to um, lay low for a little bit and to um, become more enlightened to a situation before you move forward in any new directions. Make sure you pause before giving someone a yes or a no, okay? Don't be so quick to say yes to people. Really try to figure out what's their end game first. You don't have to like be distrusting, but just be, you know, just be a little extra careful, that's all. And that's what that Nine of Wands is alluding to because you have a lot of happiness right around the corner and it's going to make whatever happened in the past look like a thing from the past, something that you're not gonna feed your energy to anymore. So what is this magician, which is in your challenge spot? What's this magician? Hot damn, you releasing burdens. You're gonna be releasing burdens and there's a new opportunity for you with the Ace of Cups, but you need to get out of any negative thinking. Low vibrational energy attracts more low vibrational energy. When you raise that up, you attract more people like you, more situations like you want, and more happiness. So let me get a card on that Wheel of Fortune. Look at that, Six of Swords and the Page of Wands. Because you're moving on from anything that is not good for you, you're getting a exciting new opportunity with the Page of Wands and it's going to make you feel very fortunate with the Wheel of Fortune. And whoever hurt you or the people that hurt you, you're walking away with your tail up in the air and showing them what they deserve to see. 
And if any of you guys know what a cat looks like with its tail up in the air walking away, you know the view you're giving them and I'm proud of you. Stand strong, Leo. You've got good things heading your way. Don't let anyone piss in your Wheaties, okay? So, if this resonates, I'll get extra nosy and extended, but this is where I leave you. No worries. Please hit like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. I'm very proud of you, Leo. Take care.